alert, media tries to attack Trump, hits Obama instead. The mainstream media has launched another attack on President Trump, but in their zeal, forgot that former President Obama stands guilty of the exact thing for which they are criticizing the president. One Florida representative has accused Trump of disrespecting the Gold Star widow, suggesting he said that the fallen soldier knew what he signed up for. It turns out that Mr. Obama gave a speech to police officers where he said almost the exact same thing that Trump is being accused of saying, according to the Obama White House archives. Representative Frederica Wilson, DFL, claimed that President Trump made a gold star widow, Mishia Johnson, cry when he called to pay his respects for the loss of her husband. Specifically, Wilson pointed to the president's alleged comments regarding something to the fact that he knew what he was getting into when he signed up. The mainstream media picked up the story, jumping on a chance to go after the president. I think it would have been better off if he never called this family at all, said MSNBC analyst Strick Tyler, according to The Daily Caller. However, None of the mainstream news outlets brought up the fact that former President Obama used nearly the exact same language in a 2009 speech given in front of a crowd of graduating police officers in Columbus, Ohio. The job you signed up for is not easy, said Obama during the graduation. It can mean long shifts and late nights. It demands focus, and determination, and great bravery in the face of unknown dangers. When you run into that building or chase down that suspect, you will be risking your own life in order to protect the lives of men and women you have never met, and some that you may never know. But you knew all that when you joined the academy. You knew the risks involved, you knew the sacrifices required, and yet you stood up and said, I'll take that risk. I'll make that sacrifice. I will do that job, he added. Unlike President Trump, Mr. Obama wasn't criticized for being insensitive or disrespectful in making those comments which are a reality to those who chose to enter those professions. Regardless, Rep. Wilson called President Trump a sick man, suggesting that Johnson was crumpled up in a ball at the time of the call, as reported by ABC News. She had just found out that her husband would not be able to have an open casket funeral because of the condition of the body. She said, and suggested that President Trump didn't even know the soldier's name. It was an allegation that the president denied tweeting that Democrat congresswoman totally fabricated what I said to the wife of a soldier who died in action, and I have proof. Sad. During a meeting at the White House, Mr. Trump added that he did not say what the congresswoman accused him of saying, and said if she did have the temerity to make the same accusation, he would bring forth proof. Instead, he said that they had a very nice conservation with the woman, with the wife, who sounded like a lovely woman. The extent that the media is willing to twist things in order to concoct an anti-Trump story that doesn't exist is startling, to say the least, the least.